off center ropes okay so you often have to just undo that knot and uh, redo it which uh, yeah I mean sometimes if you get the knot against something hard a piece of wood and hit it with a hammer it'll loosen it up you can try and pry it apart with a screwdriver don't use a fid if you use a fid you'll bend it another thing you can do sometimes depending on how they've done the splice sometimes sometimes you can just unpick the splice and redo it and uh, very often very often it can be that the tie off rope has been uh, put on badly uh, you can actually pull it to this side quite often uh, just by tightening the clove hitch up here but that's only that's only a temporary thing uh, so I've slackened the clove hitch off so you might have noticed in the previous shot this rope was tight and that one was slack now they're both slack let's see as if that's fixed it no I didn't think it would the reason I didn't think it would is those knots there uh, when you're changing a rope don't put knots there it's uh, it makes the rope harder to adjust and as if you ever have to change the runners change the runner plastic it just makes everything much harder uh, normally the ropes are attached to the stanchions at the back uh, or the handlebars even one or the other uh, but that's where we, it's supposed to pull from it's not supposed to pull from the bolt at the front uh, this just makes life difficult so what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to attempt to pull a little bit of the rope through this knot so I'm going to slacken the knot off and try and pull the rope through which is going to involve untightening that knot uh, the knot's been uh, pulled by a lot of huskies and we've had a lot of weight in the sleigh and uh, it's going to be hard work but I'll get there eventually obviously the uh, using a hammer against something hard I can't really do that here so I'm just gonna try with my fingers and with a screwdriver I'm sure I'll get there in the end but this is gonna take some perseverance I've loosened the knot that still didn't give me give me enough rope so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and unpick this splice a little that'll give me a little bit more rope that I can pull through There we go. I think that'll do. Uh, so why did I go for uh, adjusting the sides rather than the knot at the front? Well for a start this is going to be really 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 super tight. Um, for another thing this way I can do it little by little. It's actually quite hard to get these knots centralised. Uh, the best way is to 
well, we do an overhand loop. So, uh, yeah, as if you work out first which way you're going to end up shortening. If you aim for the middle, you always go slightly offside. So, when you're doing the knots, just, uh, just think about it a little bit. And, uh, yeah, if you re-rope a sleigh, make sure they're not central uh, because it's a lot easier to readjust it before it's had sled dogs pulling on the line.